Hey, hey, everybody. So I'm so excited because I have such a good word um, from the Lord. And he has been talking to me about this for, um, man, when did he, he first brought this up to me maybe like um, sometime last year. Yes, yes, yes. It was last year. It was in 2023 where he was bringing this to me about like, witches and altars and um just man what i'm about to share and even just telling me like the people who have not given their lives to jesus christ still live in the old testament <laughs> you know this is already getting good we only 50 seconds in this is good like oh god help me contain my excitement okay so <clears throat> you guys so you know or should know, but if you don't know, it's cool. I'm here to help. So God is, and I'm talking Jesus. I feel like when we say Jesus, it gets us to the, it gets us straight to God. The, you know, God who's the Father, Jesus the Son, the Holy Spirit. I'm not talking at all Catholic. Okay, I'm a Christ follower. Okay, a follower of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and so, um you know what we would say christian but a born again a real christian not the quotes on christian okay and so god is the creator right he's l let's see elohim right the creator he is jehovah right he is yahweh yeshua right he is jehovah gabor like he is el shaddai like he is lord all capitals letters g all capital letter g o d right god right all capital for god all capital of lord lord of lords king of kings right god of all gods so and this is good so god created everything right and if we just go back to the beginning right so satan wanted to be like god that's what he wanted right he wanted to be god but he is a creation who God created, okay? He did not create God, right? Like God didn't get kicked out of heaven to the earth, but Satan got kicked into the heaven, okay? Out, I mean, kicked into the earth out of heaven. Oh, me Lord, okay? So I hope that makes sense. So God created all things. He created Satan and Satan got kicked out of heaven into earth because he was prideful. And I feel like God was like, okay, you think you could do what I do? Go into the earth, go into my creation. Let's see, but still restriction. And Satan can't create nothing, right? The best he could do was mimic God and everything God created. The best he could do is pervert what God has made and use it for his kingdom. So just basically being a copycat. That's all he could do. He cannot make up his own. He cannot do his own. He does not create nothing. Everything is just an imitation of what God's already formed. So when we speak of like high priests and priests, right? God has them for his kingdom and Satan has them for his. When we talk about pastors, right? God has them for his kingdom. Satan has them for him, right? And then also, you know, just the leaders and just everything, like everything God has, evangelists, prophets, um, preachers, teachers, just all these things that God has for his kingdom that are, you know, the fivefold ministry, which is from Jesus, right? the gifts from jesus um which is the who you are identity that's another story uh, for another day but satan also creates them and this is where the perversion comes into play so god has a church right he created a church jesus has a church and so what does satan do he mimics and so he'll get somebody who's a pastor right or a pastor contaminate them so perversion is exchanged in there for holiness then he can send them in and plant them into god's church right but it's really not god's church right and then masquerades as an angel of light acts like he's preaching the word will give you a little bit of biblical truth with a whole lot of lie lies and there you go now people think this is the church of god and then they're like god's not really god and what is he doing tarnishing messing up the image of god by rebranding 
what was supposedly God's in the beginning before Satan was able to get to them, right? Like Adam and Eve and cause them to fall and get in and starts running things there. And so anyways, so I just want to give you guys an example, like everything God does, Satan tries to copy, right? And so, whew, just like God has, you know, his spirit, you know, spirit of love, kindness, gentleness, like, right? He has the fruit of those spirits, so does Satan, right? Which is anger, right? Hey, right? Like just the opposite the opposite okay depending to to what degree okay because we know sometimes god be angry too and has wrath too so anyways now into this how are where do i start god like who help me help me have structure and order and so altars we're gonna talk about altars and just how the old testament and the new testament work so like i said in the beginning only those who belong to jesus live in the new testament because jesus died not erasing the old ways because law and order still stand even in the spiritual realm there's still law there's still order right there's a certain structure and we can see this throughout the bible over and over and over again of how god lays out his system and so satan can't undo those systems right and so in the old testament people would take animals for sacrifices of cleansing of their sins right people would slaughter and do just every year bring these things to renew their sin well not renew their sin but to cleanse their sins right until jesus came and died on the cross so no longer are we offering chickens goats whatever it is on these altars in payment of our sin because jesus was the ultimate payment right which is why the bible says like you can't undo what it is jesus done because what jesus done is done you don't have to do any other form of like uh sacrificing of chickens animals children things of that nature because that's what people do okay and this is specifically like uh, more i'm speaking like witches and warlocks and like old testament and how satan runs things because even satan moves in the old testament <laughs> okay and that's the revelation he just gave me wow god <laughs> i never thought of that but yes he even moves because he can't use jesus okay <laughs> come on holy spirit so okay so altars 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 so altars are important right altars are valuable to god this is why we you know when um you're in church and they do an altar call they call you to the altar right this is why when you are getting married right you're walking down the altar okay so just get an idea of like how altars exist even now right and so back in the day right with the altars like the well witches do this because they don't belong to jesus okay if you're a witch and you're watching this you don't belong to jesus right the bible says that those who follow the leading of the holy spirit belongs to god and are god's children so outside of that so when the witches they still make altars because the spiritual realm is real like even if you can't see it and god has not given you the gift to see into the spirit it the spiritual realm is real everything happens in the spiritual realm first before it happens in the physical realm and you, when you go and you read the beginning of the bible right in genesis even god says like you know he's created male and female you know but yet there's no adam there's no eve you get it and then later on the seventh day he creates adam in a body and eve in a body but they were spirits okay and so in all of this the spiritual realm is really real meaning that like 
ma how do I say it? Magicians? Yes, magicians, like, real. Like, magic, real. Like, uh, spells, post these things, they're real. Why? Because the spiritual realm is real. And the law that is in place is real. It's real. It's not wiped out. It's not erased. Which is why when you give your life to Jesus Christ, it's like, okay, now you, you got to work out your salvation. God's like, okay, Jesus, he wiped it out for you. Now it's easier for you. Now it's easier for you. Now the Holy Spirit's going to do the work in you and change you. So you see, it's not a you thing. Like it's, it's, a, it's a surrender thing, right? Less of you, more of God. I did a salvation video. You can watch for more of that if you're interested. So back to like the old testament like and how just like even in different cultures like when it comes to moloch right they would sacrifice their children their babies for things they would feed their idols and their god and this is still done you guys children are still being sacrificed for fame for fortune for things in exchange for the things of satan because listen in order to get anything you got to get it from either god or satan nothing is on your own when you're like oh my god i'm self-made yeah that's satan because satan wanted to be self-made it's pride it's all pride so it's coming from either god's kingdom or satan's kingdom let's get that together and so you have to work by their structures in order to get it so for satan it's okay if you want what it is that i have he's gonna take what what god does right lay your life down sacrifice right and so now he's like okay lay your life down right sacrifice and what that looks like for us who are christian the holy spirit lives here and we're led by the holy spirit for the kingdom of darkness now as other spirits enter into us right and rule and reign and tell us what to do which is you know the wicked things like the evil things the bad things read you know um what is it romans like it tells you in there in colossians in there like what are of the flesh and what are of the spirit and i did a video on that too and i think that's also in salvation video in my other video called god is giving you a second chance they go together and so like it's all like we are bodies like a spirit needs a body like us humans are the only ones where god is like okay i'm gonna create you put you in the womb of your mother and um and then you're gonna be birthed out right like immediately like we who are in the image of christ which is whom he created right and in his likeness we're human so we are spirit though we're spirit first but god gave us a home in the earth which is our body which is how we're able to function so when you think of like even astral projecting right like it has to enter you have to go back into your body and <laughs> and while you're out there astral projecting out of the plan not going here other spirits are trying to come into your body to kick you out okay and i hear you like paralysis like just when you think that it's all demonic but anyways so in all of this right we are the ones that have a body and spirits want to get in like the spirit like ugh, what is it, like perversion like right immorality like homosexuality like all of these spirits it's all spirits trying to get in right <laughs> like okay help me lord it's spirits trying to enter okay but we are the house so we are in control of what we allow to come in which is why the bible says watch our eye gates and our ear gates because that's how it enters by what we see and what we hear right there's seeds and then it gets watered by whatever it is you're listening to right just comes in as a seed sometimes you don't even know the change is happening and that you've been corrupted sometimes it's a process and you find out later because because it has to keep being watered to grow in its root and to branch out into something, right? It's just somebody says one thing and then somebody else says something else negative and then they're watering this and now all of a sudden you don't know who you are anymore. You're not confident anymore or whatever this case may be. You don't believe anymore. It's whatever you allow to water it. People, right? 
who you hang around, the music you constantly listen to, the things that you watch on TV, like what you see on billboards, like it's all just what is around you that waters that, okay? But we are the only ones with bodies. And this is why like it's, I believe it's Matthew 12, like 45, like how with the demon, right? It's like when you cast one of them out, if you don't fill up your home because the spirit has to live in you, right? In order to influence you, which is how Christians can have demons or Christians can have demons, which is why it's good to regularly like have a lifestyle of repentance because Christians who belong to God can still get demons. And why is that? Because it all comes back to spirits. Who, like, what spirit is dominant in your life? Disobedience? Like, what spirit? You're rebellious, you don't listen, you're a murderer. Like, what spirit is constantly, like, that's a demon, right? And it's even simple, like, you know, like, even like lust, you just lust that, but that's a spirit, right? So we have to constantly, this is why the prayer that, um, david prayed was so important and special like search me oh god clean my heart right put a right spirit in me it's important it's important because we are a house just like your house gets dusty in real life and you in places you haven't touched right and then all of a sudden the counter has a little bit of dust because you don't use that counter or you don't go in that room right like you have to clean just like how things get spilled and let's act like the words people are saying are spilling on you it just takes root you got to clean that you have to deal with that this is why healing is important okay so this is like still there's altars there's like witches and warlocks right like witch doctors and what do they do they make you do ritual things right they have you do things that are rituals in the kingdom of darkness this is why they have you cut uh, you know why they cut chickens and why you sacrifice your babies right <laughs> this gets deep killed the children right sacrifice them still to this day to moloch what you're doing is you're literally doing sacrifices to feed satan just like us the children of god are eating the bread drinking the blood we don't have to physically cut and harm ourselves jesus did that we just have to accept the gift he gave us but because they're in the old covenant they have to still partake in these things and do this thing if you decide not to eat the bread today if you decide not to drink the blood today you don't lose your salvation like god's not disowning you you don't belong to him anymore he wants nothing to do with you he said do it in remembrance so to be remembered of what he done for you but for satan you actually have to bring up the things you owe him in whatever form that looks like or else he will cut you off from your blessings he will not give you your payday right like everything is tied to something and in the old testament like if you didn't pay the cut that animal as their sacrifice on the altar your sins were not forgiven your sins were not forgiven just like in the bible like how um you know they had to put the blood over their door so the angel of death would pass by but to resemble the blood of jesus meaning you would die if you don't do that that's old covenant right we don't literally have to cut a chicken or our blood and put it on anything but witches and warlocks do do and you might not be like oh i'm a witch oh i'm a warlock but are you working and functioning in things that are of old testament in the ways of salvation because like if we're being honest rebellion is witchcraft you know what i'm saying like let's let's be honest like it's not always like the these huge things sometimes it's even in the simplest of things and so okay and so like god wanted me to say that like you who have not given your life to god you still live in the old covenant okay and then another thing God wanted me to read. Hold on, you guys. I need to make sure that I'm following. 
Okay, okay. And so, yeah, so for God, right, when we are laying ourselves on the altar, when we speak of the altar, what we are doing is literally laying our lives down for God. Like we're saying, God, we want to be the sacrifice unto you. Just like how Jesus came down to the earth. Like we, we, he, and he, like, and he died and rose again like he was a sacrifice for our sins and so what we want to do is be a living sacrifice for god laying down our own lives for god and the scripture that he had given me but to let me read this okay so he says mm -hmm, that's why there's an overcall do 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 it says a living sacrifice so we are to be the living sac now we are the living sacrifice and then it says like jesus but to god dying to self so god can live in us we as sons of god get to use the name jesus and and miracle signs and wonders happen and Jesus's blood is enough, not our own, like the children of Satan. And then I wrote, are like, and then I said, they keep sacrificing people, animals, uh, and sacrificing like their lives, right? <laughs> it, it's, it's different, like, but Satan also has this way, like witches and warlocks aren't like in the name of Jesus. And things and miracle signs and wonders happen. We can pray and the miracle signs and wonders happen. But they can't. They have to go through the steps in this protocol of laying the chicken, sacrificing the blood, getting herbs and things and mixing all these things up, right? Which is really behind the scenes spirits moving to make these things happen <laughs> that's all it is just like you know for us it's the holy spirit who's doing everything behind the scenes in the spiritual realm that pushes them into manifestation into the earth and in and it's just the holy spirit it's god and it's done but here if you notice like when it comes to like which is warlock's high priest they have to become sacrificed and they have to keep giving to other gods to get other gods to enter into them if we want to talk about the sasha fierce right um in beyonce right all of these things is they're feeding these other gods to come and to do work which is why they're not just one and done it's like okay oshun come in okay this deity come in this deity come in they're inviting a whole bunch of different spirits to push and make something happen that's it and then these spirits behind the scenes are going to make it look like something is happening a love spell it's not really like magic mystical things it's something supernatural in the spiritual realm where now this spirit goes to that person starts whispering things to them starts making up confirmations to where they feel like now they should see you now they're pushing this agenda on their phone so they see you or and then they whisper a certain thing like just like how the lord has ministering angels that minister to us and tell us stuff and lead us in the right direction it's the same satan mimics it all he mimics it all and so therefore with the love spell now they're sitting here in the spiritual realm connecting the dots bringing people together influencing them and that's why you have to keep on giving right and it's like if you don't do what they do start to speak other things okay leave them alone now do 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 they really aren't that you see how they do that now they're creating confusion to make you guys go a separate way unless you keep making a sacrifice right and doing these things and cause it to happen go see a medium go see uh, um what else a psychic just whatever it is get a tarot card reading because the enemy wants to keep your gates open so you keep serving him and sometimes you guys it's really unknowingly you don't even know these things but satan assign spirits to you to watch you because satan's not everywhere at once there's no wicked spirit in the spirit i mean in the kingdom of darkness that is with you at all times god is the only all seeing everywhere at once all things not satan satan has to specifically assign different spirits to you send people to you who are monitoring spirits to gather your information to bring it back to the kingdom of darkness where god knows all things he created you he sees he sits high, looks down low. You know what I'm saying? And so it's different. He's a mimicker who tries to make it seem like he's so powerful. But even the scripture says, like, when you find out who Satan is, you're going to be like, what? This was him? Like, 
You know, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, really? This was the great and terrifying of, like, you're gonna be like, that's him? All this time, I thought he was this, this, and this. No, he just claws and pries and pushes the spirit of fear on you so heavy that you think he's more than he is. But if you were to pull the curtain, you would find out he's not that powerful compared to the Lord. Okay? He is like smaller than a mustard seed, a speck of dust. He is nothing. He is non existent even when it comes to God and the power. Like, he's like a magician. Like, we're really behind the scenes. Like, if you used to watch those shows as a kid, because I know I did, and you would find out that it looks like they did some cool trick, but really it was like the thing was in their shirt. And it's like, that's what he is. Like, it's not what you think it is at all. And God also wanted me to read about this and he gave me this today okay so he wanted me to read deuteronomy and we are chapter 18 starting chapter 9 or should i start at 10 we'll start at 9 okay it's called spiritism forbidden when you enter the land which the lord your god gave you you shall not learn to imitate the detestable things of those nations just like saying imitates and how when god gives us a promise and he takes us into the place now we're seeing new culturals right <laughs> and new societies and cults and things they practice and then you want to start doing what they're doing god's saying don't don't stay with me stay with me just like with satan if satan got you in that door you will need him to continue to push whatever agenda he has and the same is for god if god got you in that door you will need to stick with god in order for god to finish out the work and complete it until the day of jesus christ right and give you the promise that comes with no sorrow no pain right says god gives us riches with no sorrow, no pains, and that's only God. And so 10 says, There shall not be found among you anyone who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire. Mm, sacrifices, you guys, sacrifices. And I'm talking about real sacrifice, setting the children on fire, Moloch, right? Doing these things to these kids. <sighs> like, this is real, like, what the kingdom of darkness does like this is legit and then it says okay uh, help me to go back there shall not be found among you anyone who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire one who uses divination one who practices witchcraft or one who interprets omens or a sorcerer or one who casts a spell or a medium or spiritist or one who calls up the dead. For whoever does these things is detestable to the Lord. And because of these detestable things, the Lord your God will drive them out before you. Hmm. Whew. Help us, Lord. This is good, you guys. This is good. I, he's been telling me to give this word and just preparing me for this. And... Uh, I love, I love God so much. Okay, so now we're talking about sacrifice, okay? So, I told you, spoke about the things of Satan. Now listen to Matthew 16, 24. It says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. And you guys god just gave me this so listen to this if anyone wishes to come after me he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me for whoever wishes to save his life meaning the life you have planned for yourself the things and the desires you want for yourself you will lose it and why is that because you will end up giving your soul to Satan. And if you don't believe you can sell your soul, watch my video on, can you sell your soul? Okay, maybe I'll list it up over here, or maybe, maybe not. Anyways, it says, but whoever loses his life, meaning God, you can have my plans, whatever I have, like, I don't even wanna live for me anymore. It says, who loses his life for my sake will find it, meaning God will give you the desires of his heart for you and his plans, 
what Jeremiah 29 11 I have plans of welfare for you and not calamity this means whatever he designed you for your actual purpose meaning you won't be roaming around the earth feeling like you're incomplete and in void and like you don't know what's missing because everything that God has placed in you to be connected to this this to fill those certain spots are all in him all from him and only he can give you that that's why you could be searching your whole life for your purpose doing the job you thought you wanted and you were called for only to find out that was never your purpose it was only your assignment for a season okay because our purpose is everything God has for us is to serve him right and to fulfill the things that he placed in us and to preach the word and just everything that he has created us for right but the moments of this job and this career and this person and that like these are all assignments it's not our purpose it's just stops along the way like how jesus had to be at one place but he stopped for the samaritan woman it was an assignment but the goal was still the same to save all of god's people right that was the purpose he was created to die for our sins and all the healing and those things for those people were all assignments among or along the way so now 26 for what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world the whole world you guys this is good because we know that satan is the lowercase g of this world right lowercase g so god of this world and we who are christians we don't belong to this world we're just in it we don't belong to it so we shouldn't even desire the world or want the whole world because we're from a different kingdom a different place right serving a different kingdom so this is why it says for what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world because you'll find out it's empty it's nothing because you're not created for it and forfeits his soul hmm. what does it gain you and you lose your mind you lose your will you lose your emotion because when you give it over to satan oh you guys watch that video um can you lose your soul i think that's what i named it mm, because this will go into the depths of that this is good stuff god's always connecting things <laughs> okay for the son of man is going to come in the glory of his father <clears throat> with his angels and will then repay every man according to his deeds then truly no well, it says truly i say to you there are some of those who are standing here who will not taste death until they see the son of man and it says coming in his kingdom and then he told me to read deuteronomy 28 and 20. so Deuteronomy 28, okay, 20. So 20 says, the Lord will send upon you curses, confusion, and rebuke in all you undertake to do until you are destroyed and until you perish quickly on account of the evil of your deeds because you have forsaken me, Old Testament people who live there, those who are not truly surrendered, okay? those who have not committed and submitted unto God. Then he gave me 27, 14, and 15. So it says, The Levites shall then answer and say to all the men of Israel with a loud voice, Cursed is the man who makes an idol or a molten image, an abomination to the Lord, the work of the hands of the craftsmen, and sets it up in secret, and all the people shall answer and say, Amen. Amen. Okay, let me see. And so, even when it comes to the Levites, so in the Old Testament, the Levites were the only ones who carried God. Even Moses himself was a Levite, and he was in the presence of God. He was the leader chosen at that time to deliver God's people, the people of Israel. And we till this day are levites we carry god those who have the holy spirit we carry his spirit and that is powerful you guys that's not some light thing like you belong to god you are the 12 tribes of israel and you guys god also wanted me to go over some of these words so when it comes to spell 
This is what spell means. It says write or name the letters that form a word in correct sentence. That's spell, right? When you think of magic spells or spells, this is just spell, okay? Because this even says be a sign or characteristic of. So write or name the letters that form a word in correct sentence. That's all that spell is. And then when we talk about, so it's words, right? That form a sentence. <laughs> this is good because you know, like how we are told by God, like prophesy, prophesy, speak into existence because God created the whole earth and everything through words. And you can find that in Genesis, right? In the beginning, right? Let's go to Genesis. <laughs> It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens. That's with an S, you guys, because there are levels in heaven, not just one big thing. Okay, and then it says, the earth was formless and void, and darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was moving over the surface of the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And so God created everything with words and that's why the kingdom of darkness also does that because what you speak this is something that the lord gave me a revelation on when you speak out of your mouth things that align with god and that are good right when you speak them out the angel of the lord takes them and pushes them into pursuit right and makes it happen when you speak ill things and bad things, the angels of the Lord isn't going to take them and pursue them because they work for light. But Satan's, the angels, because remember, one third left with him, okay? <laughs> so don't think like Satan's not words or like knowledgeable because he is to a degree, okay? Only what the Lord reveals. But because he don't know all things only god does let me make that clear and so it's say when you say things that align with the plans and purposes of satan then guess what and his agendas for your life he his workers helpers right they take that word and they pursue it because you said it you said it so legally he's allowed to do that when it comes to spiritual law because you came into agreement with that which is why if you notice you do that, you should cancel it also. Father God, I did not mean that. I repent of that, Father. I come out of agreement with that word or those things that I just said, Father God. And I redirect and I come back into covenant with what you've spoken. Cut it, sever it. Don't let it be a seed. And then he starts sending things and they keep watering it. Even when people are like, oh my gosh, like I've had such a bad day. Like I just can't seem to get up. And you're like, yeah, I know what you mean. No, don't come into agreement. Start to pray against that. You know, I've been there before, but let's pray. Father God, I break that in the name of Jesus. We speak life into our future. We speak peace, Father God. Whatever the enemy is working out, Father God, for our demise, I pray against it in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel it in Jesus name no weapon formed against me will prosper because only the words that the Lord have spoken will come to pass I'm in agreement with your will God in Jesus name amen learn to be aware okay and so you know we are supposed to prophesy into our future I speak good things I speak life I speak love I speak you can do that you can do that you can prophesy. I prophesy against the plans of the enemy that he has for my children, even if you don't have any. You're allowed to because you're praying and you're speaking. Just like God was speaking, we're made in his image. We are natural beings that carry either his Holy Spirit who has all power, because it's not us, or it is these demonic wickedness multiples working rearranging things in the spiritual realm to bring that to pass and it looks like magic it looks like things but realistically it's just a bunch of spirits working it out for you okay and so now magic spell means a verbal formula believed to have magical force so when we're talking magic listen to this a verbal because this is not my made up stuff 
This is on vocabulary.com. It says, definition of magic spell. A verbal formula believed to have magical force. Meaning, listen to this. Believe, so that's like us having faith for what we believe in, you have faith. This is why, you, you know, even when I was in the world, right, I could have a fear that something bad was going to happen and it would come because my faith went there. Even though I wanted it to not be, I had so much belief in it that that helped that come to pass, right? And so believing, and then it says a magical force, right? Because God's not magical, that's witches, that's the kingdom of darkness. So how God is powerful, supernatural, powerful, right? Satan, and, and well, I won't say Satan yet, and the Holy Spirit, like it's power. Satan's word is magic, magical. Those are, and God kind of freaked me out because when he first pulled me in, I kept thinking like, uh, when I would see like him move in the spiritual realm and the supernatural, I used to like think like magic and God was like, no, that's for witches. Like that's for like, he's like, no, that's not me. That's Satan, right? He is holy. He's not magic. He's powerful, supernatural, right? And so that's what magic spell means right so it's words with a force behind it pushing it which is because it's magical force right so it's telling you the kingdom satan's force so a for, a verbal so your words formula that you believe to have satan's backing there you go witchcraft he had me look up witchcraft and it says the practice of magic so the practice of satan's magic okay especially listen to this especially for evil purposes the use of spells doesn't this all come together first of all the practice of magic meaning you are you're in there okay this is especially for evil purposes so witchcraft ain't no good okay and then it says the use of spells meaning your words okay and so now god also had me look up witch and this means a person though to have i mean thought to have a person thought to have magic power so the backing of satan's kingdom especially evil ones popularly depicted as a woman wearing a black cloak and pointed out, okay, but we don't believe that part. We just gonna go back to a person thought to have Satan's backing, it says magic powers, especially evil ones, evil kingdom of Satan. Even dictionary knows it's evil. Okay, and then he had me look up craft, right? If we take apart witch and craft, right? Witchcraft, and so then craft says, and actively, involving skill in making things by hand your little potions right crunching up doing all the pentagrams like everything is creating through your skill and it says and in making things by hands and making things by hand witchcraft and when you put them together you guys this is good i enjoyed it just putting everything together like when you separate the two and put it together it's just the works of satan the power backing and you doing the work in the physical realm which is triggering it to the spiritual realm that is allowing forces to move and so satan is a mimicker and it's an abomination to do witchcraft and to practice in the arts and the things that are not like god is holy never forget that when you are thinking your thoughts and moving and doing things in position ask yourself if it's holy because if it's not it's not of god if it's not pure it's not of god and so like it just be honest with yourself but anyways that is all it's from the lord i enjoyed the study and i enjoyed sharing it you guys have a beautiful and blessed day hope you learned a lot comment below you guys and um yeah, have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye, you guys.